Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I am going to continue with my little series and today we are doing my favorite summertime lipsticks. Uh, no, I did not pick just five because I don't have just five, okay? I have lots. So we will get started right away so this video does not go crazy. The first lipstick we'll talk about is the one that I have on and this is by Tom Ford and it is Guilty Pleasure. It is a beautiful, it's a, it's almost a golden pale peach, but it has a satin finish to it. Uh, I love it. No, no reason to sample it because, or swatch it because it's already on my lips. It is a beautiful peach nude. It is lighter than bare peach that I wear a lot. And um, I think I may have found a less expensive lipstick, which I'm going to show in a little bit, that may be very similar to it, okay? But anyway, that is Tom Ford's Guilty Pleasure, one of my most favorite. I've been having tremendous hot flashes today, so unfortunately the hair had to go up in this ponytail and I just pulled it back. I didn't do anything special, it is just pulled back and put up, that is it. All right, so the next one, let's talk about it since we already mentioned it, and it is by Tom Ford, and it is Bare Peach. I have to tell you, this is such a phenomenal peach. For anybody who is truly a peach wearer, you will love this lipstick. I wear it in a lot of videos, and it is just a fabulous, fabulous lipstick. Beautiful, so true. Uh, it is a, it is not a beige peach. It is a true, true peach. It is, it doesn't lean to the pink, anything. I love it. Just love it. So that is that one. All right, the next one, well, let's see. Oh, I have another Tom Ford. Let's go ahead and talk about this one. Now, and I'm going to do a separate, um, my favorite liners, and you will see that most of my liners can be worn with any of my lipsticks. It's just a matter of what look I'm going for today. This is Gucci's Burnt Cinnamon with the uh, guilty pleasure, but if you wear it with a stronger lip liner, you can definitely change the look of this. Anyway, the next one is Spanish Pink. Many know about Spanish Pink. At first, this was hard for me to get used to because, you know, it's in the pink family and uh, it has a little bit of peach tone to it, but it's very, very light in the pink. But I found that by changing my liners around, I make this work really well for me. And if my liner has a little bit of brown undertone to it, Spanish pink works really, really well for me. It is a beautiful color. The Tom Ford lipsticks are ridiculous in price. I think they're $52, and but they're just so, they're very special. They really are. All right, the next one um, is, let's see, we'll go into the, we'll stay in the high end and then I'll take you into the drugstore so we can really focus on those. All right, so these are all high end. These are all drugstore. I don't know what you consider Mac. Mac's not really super high end. It's mid row. So we'll, We'll stick with the high enders first. The next one I'm going to talk about is by Marc Jacobs and it is number 114 understudy. I have worn this in many, many videos. I've done tutorials using it. It is a very clean peach, uh, a little bit sheer, not as opaque as the Tom Ford lipsticks, but it's, it is, it, it holds its own. It's, it's much creamier and it has a, um, a thinner feel to it when it's on your mouth, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Love that one. That one I wear a lot. As you can see, you'll see as I hold my tubes up how worn down they are. You'll know the ones that I truly wear a ton. All right, the next one we're gonna go with is going to really surprise you because this one is totally uh, out of the peach family and it is called Mango by Laura Mercier. This is a beautiful, beautiful bright pink. Um, it's not, it's not so pink, it, it's a, it doesn't have a lot of blue undertone to it, so I can wear it and I can wear it well. It is a very, very nice color. Uh, this is a nice lipstick, it's full bodied, wears well on the lips, nice and creamy, but does not wear off that quickly for me. But I must say I am someone who's very lucky and I don't really, um, 
I don't eat through my lipsticks that much. But anyway, mango is just a perfect, beautiful, it's a corally, pea, uh, corally pink, but it definitely does not have the peach tone that I so love. But I like this one a lot, you know, okay? All right, so the next one, we will say, uh, let's see, we'll go with this one. And this is 317, and this is by Givenchy, and it's the Le Rouge. Uh, lipsticks. Is it Le Rouge? Yes, Le Rouge. And it's the signature coral. This is when I really want to uh, wear something uh, less in the eye. Today I could have done this one because the eye is more neutral. It does have a lot of satin to it, but it's more neutral. I could have easily pulled off this lip. And this is a very strong orange coral. You know I'm an orange girl. I love it. It is just a spectacular color. This lipstick is the, it's a satin matte. It stays, it doesn't go anywhere. It's not aging on the mouth, which is very important for us to really, you know, if you are someone who loves trends, that's okay. But if you're someone who also does not want to age yourself, you need to really look at yourself when you put something on and say, is this making my mouth look smaller? Is it making my mouth look drier? Is it accentuating the cracks? If you're someone who just likes the staying power of all these new liquid matte lipsticks, I understand that. I get it. Um, but really, if you're trying to, um, you know, if you're somebody who's trying to do the anti-aging thing, uh, you may want to take a look at that again and say, okay, is it doing all this? Now, if you have a really nice, full, plump mouth, you may not have to worry about that. For me, they... They don't work for me, so you won't see the liquid lipsticks here. All right, so the next one is uh, by, uh, who is this? This is, is this Givenchy? Yes, this is Givenchy also, but this is their Rouge Inter, 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 I don't, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Tempting Coral. Now this formula is Cheerer, uh, and I love this color. I wear it a lot in the summer, and it's a very, it's a brighter version of the last one. And it, it really just is beautiful. I love this color. It just plays so well with so many things. I think if I hold it back here, it actually looks nicer. You can actually see it. It's a beautiful, if you have brown hazel eyes like me, and you have yellow skin, uh, yellow, yellower tone to your skin or more olive, and your hair coloring is kind of like mine. Mmm, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. It's just a very, very pretty color. You know, I think they show up better when I do them back here. So let me just give you a quick, quick swatch of these from the distance. This is the Signature Coral by Givenchy. Let me go ahead and put that on and hold that. I didn't realize they show up better back here. Just a beautiful, beautiful shade. And this is Givenchy in the leather tube. And it's the satin matte finish. And that is the Signature Coral. Oh yes, it's much better if I hold it back. Okay, now we're on to something. All right, let's show you the Mango by Laura Mercier. That is definitely a coral pink. And that's what that one looks like. This is perfect. I think my battery's getting low. I have to keep an eye on that. Got to keep an eye. Okay, there's that one. Let's get through this before I have to change the battery. Let's go through the Tom Ford quickly. This is the Spanish pink. All right, Spanish pink on the ring finger, my friends. Spanish pink. All right, Tom Ford. Let's do the bare peach. Okay, this will be on the middle finger right there. See how beautiful that is? <gasps> Just gorgeous. And then of course we don't need to do the guilty pleasure because I'm wearing that one on my mouth. So let's do the last one, the Marc Jacob, in the understudy in the new nudes and let you see what that looks like at a distance. I didn't realize that. I was just looking and I thought, wait, I can see that color better back here. And there it is. It's quite beautiful, okay? A sheerer formula, creamier than the lipsticks I've uh, shown you, the Tom Fords and such. All right, so let me look at the battery, it's okay. All right, the next one we're gonna show you is by Gucci, I believe, yes, Gucci. And this one is, 
Number 350, and it doesn't have a color. I hate when they do that. This is number 350, and it's their Luxurious Lipstick Fever. And it is a beautiful, it comes in a nice tube. It is beautiful. It's a really nice orange. You know I love an orange. Uh, this girl loves an orange. Orange really goes so well with brown eyes and yellow skin. That is it. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. And then we have one more Givenchy. And it's in the this tube here, which is the... Uh, this is the Rouge Internet, and this is Secret Pink. I had it in another color. This one here was Tempting Coral. This is Secret Pink number three. I really, now this is a pink I do love, and I wear it a lot, and my makeup has to be just perfect to wear it, but because it it is almost a true pink and doesn't carry a whole lot of blue, I'm able to get away with this one. But this is a beautiful, beautiful pink. I used to wear it in my last summer videos a lot and I got a lot of compliments on it. And many of you uh, liked it and I think went out and got it. Okay, so now we're gonna move into the MAC. I have two to show you that I like for summer. And this one is Shanghai Spice. It's a very, it's just a nice neutral peach, show it to you. Uh, very subtle, very, very subtle. Uh, very neutral, pretty, just lends itself to a very soft beigey peach. Um, I like it. And then the other one is uh, Ravishing. And this is a, a lighter peachy coral orange, but it is also a very pretty color. I don't, uh, I don't wear it a whole lot, but when I want something that's just a little has a little kick to it, that's where I go. Okay, so the next are all drugstore. And I'm gonna start with the Revlon lipsticks. Now I have to say, of the drugstore, Revlon are my most favorite lipsticks. I have several of them. I have been wearing them for years. And um, the only thing I hate is most of the colors that I love, they end up discontinuing. Like, they brought back last year Jungle Peach. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. I don't know why they don't make it a, a, a main color. Leave it, but they don't. So I found a new one. And if you have been watching me for a very long time, you know that I loved the Guerlain, Guerlain um, uh, uh, Oh, what was the color of that? Mm, something peach. I can't remember. I'll put it in an annotation if I can find a tube. Anyway, this is a dupe for it because they discontinued it. And this is the Peach Me, number 628 in Revlon. It is just a true peach lipstick. And it's very nice. I wear this on most days. I have a tube of this one in my purse always because it's just a nice neutral peach for me. Love that. And then the next one is, uh, this is one I just bought. This is Soft Silver Red, 425. And I thought it was kind of nice because it's a pinky red. Uh, and I thought, oh, it might be okay for something. I'm not sure, I haven't put this on. This one may be aging. It, because you can definitely see the silver undertone in it, which may take it to old lady on the lips, so we have to be careful of it. Of course, I'm talking about for my skin tone, it may be perfect for someone else's, but that's what it looks like. Sometimes I do like to have a nice red to be able to wear in the summer, and I do like a pinky red every now and then, as well as my orange reds. The next one I'm gonna show you is 407 Rose Dew. Again, another one of those pinks for me when I need to wear something pink because sometimes you need it, you have an outfit and you just have to have the pink. And this is a very fair pink. It's not, I can't do the nude pinks. They just do not make it on me outside of the Spanish pink. I really can't, they just, they just don't do anything for me. All right, and then the next one, this one here I think I just bought. This is one of the, yes, I just bought this one. And I think I had this years ago when, when they came out with the matte collection and I didn't like it, but I like it now again. It's called Smoked Peach. It is a matte, but a doable matte. It is not like the matte lipsticks. And you can always pop a little bit of gloss in the center of these, but it's a really nice color. Really nice peach. Not bad. All right, and then we have, let me get that off. And I wore that mat the other day. It's a comfortable mat. I can't say that it wore extremely well for the whole day. Uh, it did start to get a little 
a chalky looking towards the end of the day, which accentuated the lines in my lips, which is important for us to know because we don't need any old lady mouse hanging around, do we? All right, so the next one, and this one may be a dupe for what I'm wearing, not perfect, but a good one. And this is called Apricot Fantasy by Revlon. And it is 120 Apricot. It is definitely in the same tone. It has a little more orange to it, but I actually think it's very flattering. A little bit more orange to it than what I'm wearing, but not bad. I'll put a little bit of this over it so you can see upper lip to lower. Not bad. Apricot Fantasy. And then get yourself a nice uh, brownie nude pencil. Not too brown. You don't want to have a big brown lip and then a nude. And you want to just have a little difference of color. And uh, you might have this look going on. Okay. All right. The next two from Revlon. This one is Peach Parfait. I think this is one of the newer ones I saw in a unit. And this is a sheer. Now, I did get it. And it is this is for one of those days. This is along the line. This formula goes along the line of the New Nudes by Marc Jacobs. But this is a beautiful color. It's, and they're sheer. So this is when you don't want a whole lot of lip color or you don't want that, you know, your mouth to be just full of lipstick and you want something a little more sheer. Maybe on a beach day, you don't want to have full. I don't wear makeup if I'm going to do stuff like that because I... I'm putting my sunscreen, but I always wear a lip gloss, always. But I don't wear foundation and stuff if I'm out by the pool or going to the beach and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> which there's nothing wrong with it if you do, but it's just not it's it's just not something I do. I don't like to sweat and lay in the sun. I don't really lay in the sun, but I don't like to sweat and have that makeup going in my skin. All right, and the last one for Revlon is uh, 820. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep this. I just bought this one. It's called Pink, Cogni uh, Pink Cognito. It's um, a very pretty color, um, but uh, it's, it's very sheer. It's going to give you just, my lips are so blue that it's going to do nothing for this. You see it on me there? It's a sheer color. It is very pretty. Um, it doesn't hold a lot of blue to the formula. But because my lips are so blue themselves, I don't think it is really going to, I've been holding them up again like that when I need to do this. Um, but that's what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to do this again because I want you to be able to see the colors. This one here is 865 and that's what it looks like. All right, I got three more to show you and then we're done. I wanna just show you the other, there were no other ones, right? Uh, Apricot Fantasy, let me show that one to you. It's on the baby finger, the pinky. That's what it looks like. Okay, and then the other one was the Rosewood. I'm gonna show that one to you because I, I want you to be able to see them and I think you see them much better when I hold them back here. Okay. And that's that one. All right, so let's move on to the last three. And one is by Rimmel, one's Maybelline, and the other one, well, I'll finish up with the Revlon. This is one of their, um, what do they call these? This is one of their Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks. I didn't like these when they first came out. I swear they tweaked the formula on these just a little bit. This one is called 870 Tulip. I just thought it was really, really, a pretty, pretty color. So I went ahead and got it. And it looks like that. I think it's really, really pretty. It, it almost reminds me of the mango a little bit or the tempting orange. It really, no, not mango. Mango has a little more pink in it, but it, it could take the place of one of my higher end orange. Very pretty. Uh, but I think they've changed the formula because my lips used to stick together when I wore this and it didn't stick together when I wore this one. Uh, they can get a little sloppy on the mouth. I do think that. All right, and then this one by Rimmel is um, one that I also like and it's Saved by the Bell 650 and it is just a, another one of my peachy orange and it looks like that. 
And that is my favorite lips. My battery is saying it's going to die, so I'm going to say leave your favorite lip colors below for us. And uh, we, I love reading. I love you know hearing what you like, and then I go and look at it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.